have today, that time is up. There's no more I'm giving you lies. We're not We're not black. We're not We're not judging you, we're learning you. Well, have we seen any change? No. Have we seen anything that has changed our people? Changed our neighborhood? Black men will not command their households. Black men won't go on the block and tell the boy stop selling dope here. Come on your ass up, sister. Get off the strip pole. Stop going and aborting my babies. Nobody won't do it. Are you doing that, Lionel? Are you doing that, Lionel? Are you doing that, Lionel? Yay or nay, Lionel? Lionel, Lionel, yay or nay, Lionel? Are you teaching our brothers to stop selling dope? Are you teaching our brother to keep God's commandments? Right. How can you be teaching them when you also teaching them to love their enemies? How the heck? That, that, that's a contradiction, Lionel. That's a contradiction. Are you teaching them God's laws, Lionel? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Hell is a condition. Get that. Get that. Hell is a condition, brother. We are in hell right now. Read. What, what scripture is that, brother? Lionel, show me that. Find that scripture on Google. Read. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 13. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. Read. Uh, you got to start up. Yeah. Wherefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. What's the subject matter, Lionel? Captivity, I tell you. Captivity. We. And their honorable men are famished. Come on. And their multitude dried up with thirst. Read. Therefore, therefore, hell hath enlarged herself. Hell is talking about captivity, Lionel. Right. Now read it from the top so we get some understanding again. Read it. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. We have no knowledge. We don't have God's laws in America. We don't have God's laws all over the world. We don't have the knowledge. Read. And their honorable men are famished. Our, our old men that's supposed to be standing up on the block teaching men to be men are weak. Right. They weak as hell. They tell you to love every other nation but they own. Right. Read. And their multitude have and their multitude dried up with thirst. They're I said the old men are weak. The older men are weak. That's what I said. Because I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna show you why. Why are why is I, this generation right here? Hold on, hold on. No, I said the old men. Read that again. I didn't say love is weak. I said the older men are weak. Read that again. Their honorable men are famished. You see that? That's going into your Creflo dollars. That's going into your TD Jakes. That's going into your uh, 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 Farrakhan's. That's going into your, what, what's the other dude's name? With the big head, with the lollipop head? Nah, man. The, uh, the Reverend. Reverend Al Shopton. That's what it's going into. Your honorable men, they're weak. Read. And their multitude dried up with thirst. Therefore, therefore, because of the honorable men being weak, because we are going into captivity, Lionel, hell has enlarged herself. Hell is a condition. No, no, it's a place. Okay, you show me that. It's a place. You show me that. Jesus said, I must be three days and three nights in the bowels of this earth. Okay. Your bowels on the inside, right? My bowels on the inside. Everybody's bowels on the inside, right? So if Jesus said, I must spend three days and three nights in the bowels of this earth, that's talking about a place, right? Okay. What is it? Okay. What a man of the case what you No, no, no. What's it? What's it, brother? Hey, brother, brother. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Is that gonna get you salvation? Knowing that gonna get you salvation? Hey, hey, Lionel. Knowing that gonna get you salvation, Lionel. Is knowing that gonna get you salvation? I'm ready for it again. I didn't ask you that. I didn't ask you that. I'm talking about salvation. Like when Christ come back, knowing what hell is, are we gonna make it off of that? What's the only way we gonna get salvation, Lionel? 
Okay. So what else? Okay. Doesn't say a black man. This says if a an Israelite man. An Israelite man. No, 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 no. That's not what it's Who was Paul talking to in Romans? Amen. Who was Paul talking to in Romans? I'm asking you a question. Who was Paul talking to in Romans? But I'm asking you a question. Who was Paul talking to in Romans, Lionel? Do you know? Amen. An Israelite man. Bring it out. Amen. An Israelite man. Will confess with his mouth, the Lord Jesus, and believe in his heart that God raised him from the dead, and okay. said you'll be saved, right? Okay. So, so how come a white man can't? Huh? How come a white man can't? Because the the words of this Bible was never for him. What? Okay. That's right. if, 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 if the white man is going into slavery, and we gonna be their master. Absolutely. Okay. So how in the world are you gonna have born again redeemed slaves and servants? What do you mean born again? What scripture is that? What you doing, mom? What you doing, mom? What you? Doing? What you talking about, Willis? The scripture don't say that though, Lionel. See, now you're adding on. You're adding on. You, no, no, I, what, what, Lionel, I, I hear what you're saying. I understand what you're saying, and you're adding on. There's no one in the Bible that says the other nation is going to be born again. They're going to be forced into submission. You want, you want me to get your. That, well, that's what I'm saying. They're going to be forced. Yeah, that's physical labor. That's physical labor. They, Lionel, get Matthew 1 to the 1. The main reason why I'm here is because you guys got to include the Gentiles. No, you don't. The Gentiles are talking about the scattered Israel, Israelites, brother. The Israelites, the Israelites are talking about the scattered, I mean, the Gentiles are talking about scattered Israel, brother. Do y'all know the history? The Gentiles were talking about Israelites that was in the Gentile state of mind. Right. Read. Matthew. We read. We didn't even go to the Old Testament. That's why I stayed away from the Old Testament. We was in the New Testament. We was in the New Testament, Lionel. So you're not listening. You're not listening. Read. Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. And, and she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name. Read it again. And she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his read it slow read it slow for he shall save his people from their sin prophecy said christ gonna save his people from their sins lionel so that, how, how can you include everybody so so show me where that says after he does that show me lionel listen listen we gonna go into all the world were there, were there black people in all the world at that time? Yeah. That he didn't make no, it specific, no, did he? When he said go into all the world, he didn't make it specific, did he? He didn't say go into all the world and look for Israelites, did he? He didn't say that, did he? He said go into all the world and preach the gospel because we rejected him at the cross. Remember? They wanted Barabbas in place of Jesus. They wanted a criminal in place of the Savior. You understand what I'm saying? I hear you. I hear you. Now, now, you oh, so go, go God, ahead. If God had no love for the Gentile nations, why is it mentioned in the book of Acts 30 times? We already explained that. That's a waste of print. We already explained that. That don't make sense. All right, read what you got. Y'all got to love everybody, man, because see, you have Revelation. No, go, go, we, we, we gonna let him talk. And see, you have all these people passing by, and these white folks are saying, dang, they hate us. We, we, what? This, this white folks are Brother, like, what's your name again, brother? Wood. Like, did we ever, did, did we tell you to hate any white, anybody? Oh, damn, and that's crazy. Where your partner at, where he at? We, we didn't tell nobody to hate nobody, did we? Okay. But see, what, what I'm saying is, All right. when you guys are preaching, when people are passing by, and they're hearing Christ, Christ talk like this. <laughs> read, read. I'm black, read. black, and I'm black. Rev no, you didn't hear nobody say blackity black black, brother. Now you're trying to be funny. We didn't hear nobody say blackity black black. Hold that sign up. Hold that sign up. Hey, watch this, Lionel. You see, listen, listen, Lionel. Listen, just listen, listen. Lionel, Lionel. Now, I'll let you talk for like two minutes just now. Puerto Ricans, are they all black? No, they're not all black. Oh, stop right there. Cubans, are they all black? Dominicans, are they all black? Yeah. Colombia to Uruguay. Listen, listen, Lionel. Listen, Lionel. Mexicans, are they all black? Argentinians, are they all black? 
This is not a black campaign, brother. This ain't got nothing to do with black. We teaching the truth. When we say Jesus black, that's because they say he white. When we say the Israelites are black, that's because they say the Israelites are white. How come nobody is going to Israel and telling their ass to get the hell out of Israel? Do you understand? They teach that me or you are Goyim, or what? Or how they say Goyim. They call me and you Goyim, mean peasants. How come ain't nobody going to their mosque right down the street, Lionel, and tell them to accept us? Why you ain't doing that? But why not? Why not though? But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh yeah, oh yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So why you not going there? Why you not going there? That's Stockholm Syndrome, Lionel. That's Stockholm Syndrome. You love them no matter what they do to you. You know, you know. Oh hell no, show me that in the Bible. Show me that in the Bible. That ain't talking about the same people that lynched you, Lionel. Everybody enlist us, enslave us, Lord. Read, man, read. Revelation chapter 7, verse 2. Let's see if God love him. Read. And I saw another angel ascending from the east. Read verse 3. Verse 3. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till I have sealed the servants of our God. Let's see who God's service is. Let's see if the white man, the Chinese man, is on the list of being God's servants. Read. And I heard a number of them that were sealed. That were... And there were sealed 144,000 of all tribes of the children of Israel. The children of Israel. Who are God's servants? The children of Israel. Why they don't say the whole world, Lionel? That says the children of Israel. Okay, so what else? That's, that's not talking about the world. <laughs> so, so, okay, so show me the world in the kingdom. Show me all nations in the kingdom. Show me the white man going to be sitting at the table with Christ and the 12 disciples. Show me that. I'm, I'll wait for that. Oh, yeah. Mm. No, 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 no. Nah, you see, he tried to divert. Nah, no, you, brother, we showed you precept upon precept who the Gentiles were. We showed you that. Now watch this. Go to Galatians chapter 3. Go to Galatians chapter 3, man. Your teachers are angry. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know. That's where I'm going. We teach a hatred. We teach a hatred. Man, you Judas, man. You Judas is scamming it right here. Get, uh, get Galatians chapter 3. And start at verse 24. Verse 23. Hey, listen. Hey, Lionel. Lionel, listen. We teach it out the Bible, but but we teach a hatred. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. How, how come? Hey, hey, watch this. Hey, watch this. Hey, I'm going to tell you how crazy our older men are. I'm going to tell you how crazy, right? They said, slave obey your master out the same book. They say, slave obey your master out the same book. Is anybody protesting against that? No. But as soon as we say, black man, Hispanic man, you are the greatest people on the earth. Now we're teaching hatred. What about the white man? Why can't the white man be great with us? No, brother. Read. Galatians chapter 3, verse 20. Start at verse uh, 28. Because I know that's what he wants. Verse 20, 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond. Either he lit up. You saw that he lit up. <laughs> Read it again. I, I'm, I'm glad to. It make a lot of sense, don't it? Read. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor. So I'm gonna ask you, Lionel. I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you, Lionel. 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 I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you, Lionel. Listen, listen, listen. I hear you. I hear you. Who are the Jews? Who are the Jews? So who are the Greeks? Who are the Greeks? The Greeks are the white foes. So so what about the Chinese? But see that's not what What about the Chinese? What about the Chinese, Lionel? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> what about the Chinese? No, no, it it, it, it didn't say that. It didn't say Gentile nations. Read it again. There is neither Jew nor Greek. Greek. So why don't it say there is neither Jew nor Chinese in them? So who are the Greeks? Who are the Greeks? They are they are the uh, descendant of Edomites. The, the white man, right? So the white man is a Greek. So what about the Chinese? Can the Chinese make it? 
Sure you can. But that don't say that. That say the Greeks. No, 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 no. That's that's the Greeks represent the Gentile nation. Wrong, yeah, yeah, yeah. brother. Right. Read it again. There is neither. The point I'm trying to show you, Lionel, is that you love Massa. Right. Because you, you hear Greek, and you didn't say the Chinese can wake up in the morning to be a spiritual Israelite. You didn't say the Arab can wake up and be a spiritual Israelite. You said the white man can wake up and be a spiritual Israelite. Read it again. Right, hold on, Lionel. I'm going to let you talk. I'm going to let you talk. I'm going to let you talk. Read. There is neither Jew nor Greek. So let's get some understanding on what this is talking about, all right? Read on. There is neither bond nor free. Ain't no way you watched our videos. Ain't no way you watched our videos, Brother Lionel. Read that again. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. So hold on. So, so male and female. So ain't no difference. So a man can sleep with a man. Read. For ye are all one in Jesus Christ. Christ Jesus. So now let's get some. Now listen, Lionel. Hey, Lionel, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Now watch this. We gonna read. Listen, 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 Lionel. Listen, listen. You blinded right now, brother. Lionel, listen, listen. We gonna read two scriptures. Lionel, Lionel. He just said we all. Boy, hey, boy, I see how Nehemiah felt. Hey, hey, right, and Moses. Hey, Lionel, listen, Lionel. Lotto, listen, you gonna let me speak? You go, you you go you go get some understanding? Now go back to Galatians. Stay in Galatians and start at verse 23. Start at verse 23. Hey Lionel, start at verse 23. Verse 23. Galatians 3, verse 23. But before faith came, we were Oh, read hey, come on, brother. Read it right. But before faith came, we were we read it right, brother. But before faith came, we, 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 Paul is addressing him along with the people he's talking to. We, we were kept under the law. So name me a point of time. Listen, Lionel, name me a point of time when the other nations was kept under God's laws. You're on. Well, that wasn't their head. You're on, you're on. So how can they be, how can they be kept under the law if that wasn't their head? Exactly, Lionel! Oh, so who is the Greeks that Paul is talking about, Lionel? The Greeks are, represents the Gentiles. Wrong, read it again. You're missing it. Read it again. Galatians 3, 23. But before faith came. Before Jesus came. We, we were kept under the law. Who was kept under the law? The Israelites were kept under the law. Right. Not the Gentile nations. Okay, so how does verse 23 differ from verse 27? He's still talking to the same people. Read on. Bring it out. We were kept under the law, shut up unto the faith which should afterward, afterward be revealed. Wherefore the law was our the law was our you uh, 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 Galatians the law was our meaning Paul was included our schoolmaster. So who kept the law? Who was the law given to Lionel? It was given to, us. It was given to the Israelites read well, to bring us us <laughs> unto Christ the law the people that was under the law was the point to come to Christ the people that was under the law right. read that we and we again read might be justified by faith so let's see who's on the law get Psalms 55 and 5 get Psalms 55 and 5 we're going to show you who was under the law Lionel because all the white man the Chinese man they wasn't under the law Paul is talking to the people that was under the law so you know that so how you confuse in verse 27 how you confuse that verse 27 if you understand verse 23 and 24 that's crazy. Psalms chapter 50 verse 5. Gather my saints together unto me that those that have made a covenant, a covenant under the law with me by sacrifice. Who was made the covenant under sacrifice? He said saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites, Lionel. That's right. Only the Israelites kept the law of sacrifice, Lionel. Philip ran through it to him and hurt him. Read the Jesus prophet Christ Isaiah and said, the book I said in the Old Testament, Lido. They was reading the Old Testament, Lido. When Christ walked the earth, there wasn't no New Testament, Lido. Read. Understand this. Thou what thou readest. And he said, how can I accept some man said guide me? Lonnie, you got to be retalked, brother. Get that hand in hand, bro. Get that hand in hand. Read. 
Proverbs chapter 11, verse 21. Do head, join in head. The wicked shall not be punished. Hey, Lionel, God says, don't you want to join in hand with these other nations? They're not going to be punished. They're not going to go unpunished. They got a fate that is coming for them. It's coming, Lionel. Read on. But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. The seed. Seed sperm of the righteous going to be delivered. Read. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Everyone that's joined together with these other nations. All right, all right but you don't say now. You get on safe now, you Jeff. Hey, really it. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. God says every uh, every Israelite that's joined with these other nations going to be put to death with him. Read. And everyone that is joined unto them, unto who? Unto them shall fall by the sword. God, hey, when Christ come back, if you hugging these other nations, you're going to be put to death, brother. What? You're going to be put to death with them. So why are you trying to save these other nations? You know that, why don't you? Because those are the things because you about think, the of Because you that think that your right. word is greater than God's. That's what it is. You gotta see get, Jesus get, says get, saving, get Ezra 7 and 21. You guys, gotta, you guys gotta get off all these other different subjects. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm, on the salvation I'm, of mankind. Yeah, salvation. You get salvation, keep it God's commandments. Let's go salvation. It's for us. 7 21. Come on. Second Ezra, chapter 7, verse 21. But God has given straight commandments. Hey, God gave straight commandments. Thou should not kill. Straight commandments. Thou should not commit adultery. Straight commandments. You ain't supposed to shave your beard off, Lionel. Straight commandment. Read. What they should do to live. To what? To live. If you want to live, you got to keep God's straight commandments, Lionel. That's right. And that's the problem. That's the problem. Our people lack discipline. I don't have a problem Our people, keeping the you, commandments. You, you, you got a big problem. Well, don't shave your beard. It's, it's just that. Don't shave your beard. Don't, don't shave your beard, Lionel. Don't shave your beard. That's a commandment. That's a commandment, right? Is it? Yeah, nay. That's a commandment that we just read out the Bible. That's a commandment, right? You see what I'm saying? You say you got a problem, but when we read a commandment, you have a problem. Right. God has never talked to read. me about my face. Even we just read it. Never we just read it. He's never talked to me about But we just, he, so you say God got to come down and talk to you? Is that what you're saying? Well, he'll correct you, won't he? Yeah, he's correcting you right now. Scripture says he'll correct you. He's correcting you right now and through his prophets. Through the real prophets on the earth. That's right. He corrected you right now, Lionel. Because ain't nobody never told you that God said don't shave your beard. So apparently, ain't nobody else the true prophets of God. Right. The prophets of God, right. they went and they corrected. They prophesied. They foretold dangers coming. Right. We're telling you, Lionel, if you don't keep God's commandments, Christ going to put you to death when he come back. That's right. Read. Second Ezra, chapter 7, verse 21. It's the truth, bro. It's the truth. It's the truth. And Christ said the truth gonna set you free. Okay, how come he don't Read. have a beard, son? Second Ezra, chapter 7, verse 20. But there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of God. God says that many people gonna be put to death because they hate God's laws. Right. They hate God's laws. Read. That is set before them. But God has given straight commandments. God's commandments are straight and right to the point. Black and white. They right to the point. Right. Ain't no parables about God's commandments. He said, thou shalt not. That means do not do. Just like you would tell your kid, boy, don't go outside at 2 o'clock in the morning. That is straight commandment. Same thing with the most this high. Read. To such as came, what they should do to live. live. What they should do to what? To live. God says if you want to live, keep God's commandments. Keep his commandments. Read. Right. Even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. Because our father tells us to do something. When we don't do it, Lionel, like, we get punishment. Right. Watch this. Get nailed more than three. Bring it up. You don't know, Lionel. You don't know. You, you don't know. You don't know. I can't give you credit. I can't, I can't give you credit. You tell them what you just told me. Read. Nahum, chapter 1, verse 3. The Lord is slow to anger. He's slow to anger. And that's why, hold on, hold that. Get on. Uh, got four guys out here with beers. Did he tell them the same thing he just said? 811. I'm, I'm done answering your questions, Lionel. Does that make sense? Read. Ecclesiastes, you know chapter 8. 
verse 11. Four brothers. Because so, so technically his father was out here is with not no beer. executed speedily. Because no, so sentence we not born again, we not saved, we don't love God, not and we, we don't obey His commandments. We don't and have God says because judgment don't come, because we feel like we can do what we want to do, and we don't get put to death immediately. Read. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to to do evil. Because we because we wake up every morning, we think that we okay to keep doing evil. Because we don't be put to death immediately. How it was in the Old Testament, we think that we can keep doing it. Right. God said judgment is going to come, Lionel. Right. Your judgment will come. And in that day, you're going to know that you was amongst prophets of the Lord. Right. Right. Now, chapter 1, verse 3. But the Lord is slow to anger. And that's the reason. The Lord is slow to anger, so we feel like we got eternity to keep sinning. Right. Read. Because you said you the reason why you don't shave your beard is because you want to please your wife. That's what you said. We didn't say that. You said that. You choose the love of your wife over God. You supposed to please your wife in the Lord. In the Lord. In the Lord. In the, if, it's, if, it's, if it ain't breaking God's commandments, if it's breaking God's commandments, tough titty for her. She gonna have to suck it up. Read. Matthew chapter 10 verse 37. He that love a father a mother, he that love a father a mother, more than me is not worthy of me. You ain't worthy of Christ, Lionel. Uh, that's why, that's why, that's why Christ ain't give you ain't the comfort. You don't have the comfort in you right now. You don't have the comfort in you. Read. Nahum chapter no 1 verse 3. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power. I pray you repent, Lionel. I really do. No, no, man. Uh, I really do, brother. No I'm, see, there you go. <laughs> but I'm repenting daily. We know we cut Israelites and we repent daily. You ain't, you ain't, you don't, you don't, don't know what I said. You gotta repent daily. Tell me I don't repent because, brother, you blatantly said you are not going to stop shaving your beard. You are blatant. You are willfully sinning. Right. That's what you're doing. I'm saying because I don't. I say because I shave this part of my face. Okay. Watch this. Watch. So watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I'm sinning. So what, you want, no you keep the Sabbath day? Yes, you should, right? Is that what you told this young man? I'm asking you. I'm asking about the Sabbath day. You keep the Sabbath day? No, you're not supposed to judge a man in the Sabbath. I'm asking you. See? You see that? You're not supposed to you judge a man in the Sabbath. You see that? Let's you keep, get there. Okay, let's okay. So hold on, hold on, hold on. on let's get there. <laughs> hey, I know you want this so bad. Let's get there. You keep the Sabbath day? Let's get it. You keep the Sabbath day? Hold on. You celebrate Christmas? No, I don't celebrate. You celebrate Christmas. Thanksgiving? No. Birthdays? Anniversaries? No, but I'll tell you. Anniversaries? <laughs> Oh, bring it up. <laughs> hey, Lord, are you crazy, bro? Now, chapter 1. Where's that at? Huh? Show me that. Show me that. It, it, okay. Go on Google and look it up. Okay, we know Christian, Christ, Christmas is a pagan holiday, right? All right. So why why are the pagans... So, so is shaving your beard. So you shaving your beard is a pagan you, you uh, uh, custom. Let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah. Go ahead. Let me finish. Okay, we know Christmas is a pagan holiday. So if it's a pagan holiday, why are the pagans taking Christ out of Christmas? What? Oh, hell no. no Christmas never hit Christmas. Right. Christ ain't got nothing to do with Christmas. What the hell are you talking about, what I was just saying. You said that the, the pagans, pagans taking Christ out of... Pagans took Christ out of Christmas. He was never in Christmas. The black Messiah no. wasn't. Caesar goes, he was. Right. They can have that devil. They can, they can keep that devil in Christmas. Don't give a damn. The black Messiah never celebrated Christmas. That's right. He celebrated Passover. That's right. Feast of living bread. Right. Feast of dedication. Right. For real. Right. Hanukkah. Right. That's what my Lord is saving celebrated. Did you celebrate Hanukkah? He didn't let me finish. You celebrate Hanukkah? Of course I don't. Why not? Christ did. You didn't let me finish. Christ, Christ celebrated it. You didn't let me finish. Are you a follower of Christ, Lionel? <laughs> what you got? John chapter 10 verse 22 And it was at Jerusalem The feast of the dedication Read And it was winter And Jesus And, who? and Jesus walked in the temple In Solomon's porch Christ kept the feast of dedication So you should keep it Because Christ kept it Right. Right. Agree. That, can, can we agree on that? Right. Right. Okay. All, all, all praises. Do you believe what's happening now? So what about saving so the beard? We're all working on 
do it what it said, ain't you? Right, right. You're absolutely okay. right. But that's easy to do, right? Are you doing 100% of what's in there? No, I'm trying my okay. damnedest hardest. Okay, then. But you, well, watch so this, Orlando. Why you want to put me on blast about Be what I'm not doing? Because you're willfully sinning. You're willfully doing it. Means that you you cannot, you can stop shaving your beard if you wanted to. Right. I'm willfully sinning by shaving my beard. Yes. Yes. That's exactly what we're saying. Yes. Right. Yes. Is that what you told that man? He don't grow a beard. But neither do I. You do grow a beard, Lionel. You just shave it. You just shave it. Right. I can't grow a beard like you. I'm not saying like me. I say period. A bit better than that guy. Right. So keep it. So keep it. Don't shave it off. It doesn't look like it. For who? It, look, it looks right now as a God. That's right. Who's trying to please? Man or God? Which right one? Y'all got to get who off Who you trying that to please? Kick, who, what kick? Y'all talking about the flesh. Oh, there we go. All right, man. Shalom, this is I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.